Okay, hello everybody. My name is Evan from IT Simple. Okay, in this video, we'll be looking at some of the new e-invoice function in the recent AutoCount update. Okay, so one of the main uh, highlights for this new update is to import your supplier's e-invoice from iOS portal as well as to reconcile your supplier's e-invoice. Okay, next is to enable your e-invoice setting to allow you to, to be able to edit your validated e-invoice within 72 hours. Okay, the next is to view source document for your self bill from your listing. Okay, the fourth one is to merge your text entity as that's right to, to allow basically allow your user to set whoever can merge the text entity. Okay, and the fifth one is the license control for your e-invoice. Alright, so basically these are the few uh, functions that I've listed out. Okay, so if you want to explore more of the functions you've made, use the link below or you can go to our video's description to find out more regarding this new update. Okay, so now I will show you how to import your supplier's e-invoice. Okay, so under the e-invoice tab right here, there's this new function here, go to click and then here is basically where you you show all of your supplier's uh, e-invoice. Okay, you first, of, first of all, you have to click sync and then it will show you the date to, sync, to synchronize for your supplier's e-invoice. Okay, so as an example, 1st of August until today, lah, then I click start sync. Then click yes, then automatically system will run the synchronize to pull all of the documents from the date range. Okay, once it's done uh, sync, you will see sync is completed successfully. Okay, and then here you have your latest e-invoice lah from the supplier. Okay, so let's say example if you click sync and nothing appear, make sure that under your AP creditor maintenance, make sure that let's say example ever supplier, make sure he has his team number. Okay, so basically from his team number, he will pull up the, the pull all of the documents uh, from this supplier. Okay, then you will see all of the documents here. Okay, click into it, then you will see this uh, document. Uh, he issued me the Asus laptop 3.80 at a price of 90. Okay, then from here onwards, you can click either to convert on the bottom uh, bottom uh, right. You will see the function for convert to purchase invoice. Okay, if you click convert to purchase invoice, system will automatically issue a new purchase invoice here with all of the information. Uh, the total quantity, the unit price. Okay, once everything is correct, you can click uh, save to record into your system. Okay, then you will see your document has been uh, posted here. View document here. Okay, so this basic, this will basically reflect in your uh, accounting. Okay, okay let's say example for one document, uh, uh, this 24th document, you what you want to reject, you can click into it, double click, and on the bottom right, there will be a reject button for you. Okay, so my current invoice is already rejected already. So I'll showcase another invoice. As an example, this one, this invoice. I want to reject this invoice, I can click reject here. Okay, then there will be have this uh, message come out. You type in your reason for the cancellation. Okay, let's say example, wrong item. Okay, then click yes. The system automatically. Okay, so if the document has passed the three days limit, you cannot reject anymore. Okay, so in my case, for this document here, once I click rejected ready, it will show me this rejected uh, e-invoice. Okay, so if I go back to my uh, my supplier's uh, portal to view, you will see that this document, click refresh. Okay, this document here has been requested for uh, cancellation. Okay, rejection can arisen is wrong item. Okay, then you can choose to cancel here lah, from the supplier side. Okay, so that's basically how you can uh, import your supplier's e invoice. Okay, so next I will show you how to uh, map your supplier item with your item in AutoCount. Okay, so first of all, let's say example, this, this uh, document, this invoice right here, and ring it. Okay, as you can see here, his item is uh, called product123. So if I convert to purchase invoice, 
you will see that this item has no item code. Uh, it only has the, the description on the product one two three. Okay, so if I want this uh, product one two three, this supplier will I want to post uh, to a item code. I have to do a mapping first. Okay, so for the mapping, if you go under the invoice tab right here, under your supplier item mapping. Okay, then here you have to map the item. Okay, as well as the supplier. Okay, so first of all, my supplier is my item supplier. Then here I put the supplier the item code for my uh, supplier. As an example, I want my supplier product one two three to always uh, map to my Asus laptop. Then click on the Asus laptop and then type in the supplier's item description. Okay, product one two three example lah. Okay, then I click save. So next time when I double click into this document, when I convert to purchase invoice. You will see that this invoice has will have the item code as well. Then click save. Then click yes. Then you will see this uh, uh this uh supply e invoice has been converted to my purchase invoice. Okay, that's how you can map your your supply item name your supply items description with your auto counts uh, item code. Okay, so next I will show you how to uh, reconcile your supplier's uh, e-invoice. In this uh, page right here, there's this button for reconcile. Click into it and then you can select your date range and click filter. Okay, I want to view, I want to reconcile my uh, 1st of January until uh, uh, today's date. I click inquiry, I should click re uh, show reconcile as well. Then you will see, here you can check for your uh, your synced e invoice again okay so this document here this e invoice has been synced into my purchase invoice here okay so if you, if you want to update all of your 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 listing here again you can check all and click update here and click update yes then you will see if the document has any updates for uh, this view of uh, this few listing lah. Okay, so next I will show you how to enable your e-invoice setting to allow you to edit your e-invoice within 72 hours. Okay, so first of all, you have to come over to your e-invoice tab, e -invoice tab right here, e-invoice setting. Okay, then the setting. Okay, here you will see a option for you to uh, tick for enabling your edit to edit your validated e-invoice within 72 hours mechanism. Okay, once you enable this option, meaning uh, for your sales invoice, any document that has the e-invoice validation, uh, the status uh, with the, the hours and the minutes, you will be able to edit them to resubmit again for the e-invoice. Okay, example this invoice, it is still valid within 72 hours, as you can see on the status. If I click edit, Okay, let's say example, I want to change the unit price or change the quantity. Okay, you can type in here, 5, 100, then I click save. Yes, okay, then you will see, do you want to edit this e invoice document? It will can cancel previous sub submitted document and resubmit new document to my invoice portal. So if you click yes, system will automatically, uh, okay, type in the cancel reason first, change quantity and unit price. Okay, then you will see system will automatically help you resubmit the e invoice again. Okay, fresh and it's validated again. Okay, so if I view it and I see the e invoice, view details, validation link, you will see it is submitted for another invoice again. Okay. That's how you can enable to the setting to enable to allow user to edit the e invoice. Okay. okay, so next I will show you how to view source document for your self view document in the listing. Okay, so if you have issued a self view ready and it's copied from your either your cash book, 
or you purchase invoice or AP invoice, you can actually source their document again. Okay, so under as an example, cash book, under GL cash book. Okay, first of all, as an example, we, are, we, we treat that column is not there. Okay, so for the column, you have to click on this column chooser and then you have to pull out the column for self build document number. Okay, so this is to indicate that to let you know this document has been uh, converted to self build document, submitted for self build lah, invoice. Okay, so previously you will not be able to view this document, but now in this new update, you can just double click into the document here and then you will see the self view straight. So you can see this document, this 10 ringgit uh, cash, cash book, this payment voucher has been convert, uh, has been submitted for some self view e invoice. Lah. This is the function. Okay, let's say an example in uh, purchase invoice. You can see it as well. Okay, make sure you pull out the column for your self bill. Self bill uh, document. Okay, it's, it's already here. Self bill document number. You can double click into it. Then you can see the status for the self bill. Okay, so now I will show you for how to uh, give your user the access right to merge your text entity. Okay, so first of all, you have to go under your general maintenance, access right maintenance. Okay, from here, you can click either search, you want to search uh, merge text entity. Okay, double click into this option here. Then you can see this option is under your change code and your tools. Okay, so you can give your access right to your user, which whoever that can do this uh, merge, text, merge text entity function. Okay, so this function you can take whoever they can do and click apply. Okay, so for this function, you can access it through tools, change code. Here under here, you will see a merge text entity. Okay, so basically more users can access this function now. Okay, so make sure you give them the access right. Okay, so next for the e-invoice license control. Okay, so for this new version, currently uh, for all of the new account book that's created that you uh, want to use for the e-invoice purpose, make sure you enable the settings uh, for your e-invoice. Okay, so cut for this image here, okay, this, uh, this preview image. Okay, so make sure you enable e-invoice as well as the e-invoice status has been activated with, with the AIP. Okay. Once you already activated the, with the, VI, the AIP, you will have the EMOS license here. Okay, so if your EMOS license, uh, your auto counts uh, EMOS license is not licensed, it will show you the unlicensed lah. Meaning you only you will only be able to submit uh, thirty documents per year for your account book. Okay, so you must uh, activate your EMOS license with your respective de dealers lah. Okay, so if you're under under simple, you can contact us to. Uh, activate your EMOS license. Okay, so now basically to summarize everything, all of the functions that I mentioned above, you can actually find in the the, the link below in the description. Okay, for all of the functions, the new auto, the EMOS function in the revision 30. Okay, so basically whatever if, uh, questions or uh, inquiries, you can contact us or leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, thank you. Bye.